Hi there. Welcome to the official YouTube channel of SSL Trust. In this video, I am going to be showing you how you can secure your website on CyberPanel by successfully installing an SSL certificate. So, let's get started. So, this is the CyberPanel dashboard. And as you can see, our connection to our site is not yet secure and we're going to make sure it is. So the first step in this process is to generate a private key and a certificate sign-in request or a CSR. So I'm going to sc scroll down on the main SSL Trust homepage. And then under Tools and Services, you'll find the CSR and key generator. Just click on that. So basically, a CSR or a certificate sign-in request is nothing but a request initiated by you, the client, to the certificate authority, which contains all the necessary information, such as the domain name and any business details, which are stored in a hashed form. On the technical side, it also contains the public key, which will be signed by the certificate authority and returned to you in the issued certificate. So just scroll down and fill in these details real quick. Type in your domain name without the www. Name of your organization. The organization unit such as IT. Your city. Your state. And choose your country. Type in your email address and we're going to go with 2048 bit for the root length, which is the industry standard and click on generate CSR. If you scroll down, you'll see that your private server key and your CSR has been generated, which can be used for further certificate configuration. So it is recommended that you save your private key and your CSR in a safe location as in a text file on your computer so as to be able to do multiple configurations in case there is a hiccup in the process. So now that we have successfully generated our private key and CSR, it is now time to purchase and configure our SSL certificate. So I'm here on the SSL Trust homepage and as you can see, SSL Trust has established meaningful partnerships with all the leading SSL certificate authorities. And if you scroll down, you will be able to find various SSL certificates suited for all your needs, whether you're a single website and a small business and want to secure a single domain name, you can go for the standard SSL. For those wanting to show higher security and authenticity, you can go for the business SSL certificate and for organizations who want to show the green address bar in the browsers and boost your conversion rates with extended validation, you have this certificate for you. Wildcard SSL certificate to secure multiple subdomains and the multi-domain SSL certificates to secure up to 500 domains with a single multi-domain certificate. Now, if you're not sure what SSL certificate is the best for your website, you can always contact our sales team at SSL Trust and they'll be happy to help you out. So for now, we're gonna go with the standard SSL certificate since this is a demo video. And let's go with the Commodore Positive SSL. Choose the duration of your certificate. Click on checkout, fill in your details real quick, set a password if you're creating an account for the first time, choose your preferred method of payment and click on complete order. Once you do that, you can head over to the SSL Trust dashboard where your active purchased product or service will be right here. So just click on that and click on Start Certificate Configuration or alternatively, you can provide the following URL to the appropriate person to complete the configuration for you. 
So let's proceed. So now we are gonna copy and paste our certificate sign request from the very start to the very end, including all the dashes. Copy and paste it right here. Click on verify CSR. And if these details look good, that is just as you inputted them, then we're good to go. Server type, other since there's no mention of light speed as Cyber Panel uses the Lightspeed web server and we're going to click on next step. Fill in your contact details real quick. And your email address. If you have a technical individual doing this for you, please enter the details here. Otherwise, you can use admin contact for now and then click on next step. So now comes an important part of the process, which is domain control validation. So you have to prove to the certificate authority, which in this case is Sectigo, that you own your domain name and have complete access to it. And you can do it in one of three methods. The first is the email method, which is the easiest and the quickest one. So you will need to have an email address with this exact extension and you will be sent an email containing a link which when you click upon should validate the ownership of your domain name. The second method is the HTTP file method. So in this method, you will have to create a text file with this exact name and in that file, you will need to paste in these contents and then click on check file. Now you need to create these directories on your server, both of these, if they're not already there, and then proceed to create this file with this name. And then click on check file to check if this file is available on the internet via your server. The third or the method that we're going to use is the CNAME record validation method. In this method, you will need to access your DNS settings with either your domain name provider or your hosting provider, depending on where you've pointed your name service to. So I've already accessed my DNS records and I'm going to copy the CNAME record value and then add a new record here, type CNAME, paste in the host value and copy the CNAME value as it is and paste it in the pointing to dialog box and click on save. Once you do that, come back to the configuration window and click on the check DNS record button right here. Search. And now this process takes from a few minutes up to an hour depending on your DNS service propagation speed. So just keep coming back here every few minutes and check if your records have propagated. In the meanwhile, we can submit our configuration. And as you can see, our configuration was a success. This is our order number and our status is that we are waiting validation. Click here to access the validation manager. And as you can see, the domain control validation is already done and our record has propagated in enough places. Now, if you're not able to find the domain control validation window, what you can do is come back to the SSL trust dashboard, select your SSL certificate, and there'd be a button here for accessing your validation manager. If your certificate has not been issued, then you can come back to this window and open this drop down menu and select your method of validation. Click on submit or recheck just to refresh things on Sectigo's end and make sure you get your SSL certificate. So let's close this up and head back to the dashboard. Select your SSL certificate and click on the collect or download certificate button right here to view your SSL certificate. So now that we have generated our SSL certificate, it is now time to upload these files to our web server via Cyberpanel. So let's do just that. 
So let's head over to Cyber Panel and we're on the dashboard. So what I'm going to need you to do is navigate to the website option on the left menu and then click on list websites or create a website if you have not already created one and then click on the manage button right here. Now scroll down and find the add SSL option under configurations. Click on add SSL. Now we are going to copy our SSL certificate, the main certificate, and then paste it right here. Now what I need you to do is press enter and then head back to the certificate collection window and then copy the intermediate certificate to your clipboard and paste it right here just after the main certificate. So it will be a chain of three certificates in total and this is the format you have to do it in Cyber Panel for it to be recognized. And then head back to the private key window or your text file and copy your private key and paste it right here as it is. And then click on save. And as you can see, our SSL was saved. Now, since this is the newer version of Cyber Panel, there is no need to restart your web server as it happens on its own after you make a change. So what you can do now is navigate to https colon double slash your domain name dot com. And as you can see now, our connection to the site is secure and our certificate is fully valid. We have successfully installed our SSL certificate. So I hope you were easily able to install an SSL certificate on Cyber Panel. If you like this video, give this a thumbs up. If you've got any questions, please put them in the comments below. And I do need to mention that there is a written guide available in the very description of this video that you can refer to for more clarity on the process. And thanks for watching.